Hi, this is Samir from Stockholm Micro Soldering and Board Repair. Today I'm gonna share uh, a video with you about unlocking this Samsung uh, SX. This Samsung is locked to an operator, it's a Swedish operator. And today I'm gonna share with you how you unlock this phone. Uh, the first thing we need to do is to connect your uh, Z3X tool. Uh, I prefer to do it with my other computer, it's faster. So we have the tool, it's uh, connected here. Now we're gonna start the software. As you start the software, then you go to read codes, read codes new, and it says ADB is not enabled uh, yes in this case you have to go to developer mode and then you activate USB debugging and it's gonna pops up you're gonna see the ADB then you do the operation again yes we're recording that's fine mm -hmm. uh, you uh, you select uh, read codes new give it some time right hand ADB okay yes she finds the ADB uh, here it says uh, it's false because the, the phone is not rooted and the software couldn't root the device by itself then you have to root it manually you go to internet um, then in this in this stage you have to download a file a, a root file for your device yes you go to internet google and then you write root file you're gonna get to a, a home page called SFE Auto Root. Then in this uh, SFE Auto Root, you're gonna find all these Samsung Galaxy uh, models. And here you have to choose your model number. In my case, my model number is uh, uh, G920F. Uh, be careful that you have to choose the the model number according to the version that you have on your uh, phone in my case I have 7.0 uh, and if you have a uh, 6.0 version on your phone then you have to upgrade the phone before you uh, uh, down before you download <coughs> the root file yes be careful that the root file should be compatible to, to uh, the firmware version that you have on your device. It's very important, otherwise it's going to freeze and then it's not going to root your device and eventually you're not going to be able to unlock it. Yeah, after you have downloaded uh, your root file, you put it somewhere on your computer, you just remember the location and uh, then you have to extract it of course. So, now we have to uh, go to our uh, Z3X and then you extract my file, extract, you can also root it with Odin if you want, if you don't have <coughs> ZX, Z3X, you choose the PDA file, just the PDA, you locate your file, root and file that you just downloaded, then you click flash. It takes few seconds, it's very fast. Now you're gonna watch your phone uh, being rooted. The routine process has started. You're gonna see this Android guy, Android red guy, popping up with a lot of logs coming up. Just give it some time until the routing process is done. It doesn't take long anyway. Be careful in this stage, the phone is gonna start restart twice and it's gonna even freeze for a few seconds, but don't worry about that. Uh, if you give it the right root file it's gonna start so you wait until it starts and then you go to you're gonna select on your uh, Z3X program tool now it's starting 
just give it some time until it starts completely and now you click unlock then you click read codes you select read codes new and now it's gonna start generating the code uh, be careful here it's gonna say false why it's gonna say false because you have to uh, open the super user application on your phone and then enable the super user uh, uh, authorization you have to enable the super user in both when it boots and when it uh, uh, you have to give it like the authorization enable the super user this is very important otherwise you're gonna see this false problem um, uh, still so if you when you enable the super user you just open the application of the super user and you enable it enable it in both enable the super user and enable it when it boot um, yes we're recording that's fine Just give it some times now it's uh, the tool is reading the code okay now it's calculating yes now great you're done you're almost done here uh, now here is the unlocking code keep it in mind uh, with no mistakes at all and if you make a mistake you have a freezing code there in case the phone freezes then you have another code now you're gonna type uh, your code that you just got it's 2869 just me load it 2869 no mistake 7 Two five zero, and then you click and lock network and lock successful. Thank you. Yes. Du har för lite pengar på ditt kontantkort för att koppla upp ditt samtal. So let's start your phone. You just restart it and start it. To make sure that it's still uh, the unlock is confirmed. It's a Swedish operator. As you see here, it's a 4K. It's unlocked. Yeah. This is how you do it through a program Z3X, and uh, yeah, so you can use your phone in any country without problem. Whenever you go. Yeah. So you have been watching Samir from Stockholm Micro Soldering and Board Repair. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel to receive more uh, uh, video repair tutorials. And uh, you can give me a thumbs up on the videos. 
you can write me an email down below and uh, I will be glad to help. Thank you.